everyone, it's James Braithwaite of Braithwaite Physiotherapy and I want to address a question that I got uh, messaged to me on Facebook not too long ago uh, surrounding uh, resistance training and what types of movements are best in resistance training. And the, the example that was given to me uh, surrounded uh, a push-up and this person had noticed that uh, sometimes in, in their resistance training class they would um, get into poses, let's take a look at this, uh, this push-up pose uh, and they would sort of hang out in this sort of half push-up pose, just hang out in this position for a period of time. And then in other elements of the workout, they would do actual movement uh, push-ups. So like going through the full range of motion on their push-up, right? Like just like so. And the question was put to me, well, does it really matter? Like if I'm doing my resistance training, is it make a difference if I just hold a position or should I um, go through move, like full ranges of motion movement patterns and if so, like what types of movements are the best and so on, right? And that's a really interesting question uh, and I'm just going to answer it briefly here. Um, there's really, uh, when we're talking about muscle contractions, there's three categories of contractions that we consider uh, when we're looking at this type of question and, and, and the three are called isometric contractions eccentric contractions and, con and concentric contractions. You might have heard those words before and wondered what they mean and I'll answer that right now. An isometric contraction is the holding the pose contraction. It's contracting the muscle without lengthening or shortening it, right? So the muscle length stays the same. Right now uh, in my triceps uh, across the back of my arm, the muscle length is staying the same but the muscle is still contracting, otherwise I'd be <laughs> collapsing down, right? So this is called an isometric contraction, contracting the muscle without lengthening or shortening it. So anytime you hold a pose, you're doing an isometric contraction. A concentric contraction is uh, a contraction of the muscle where the muscle shortens. So imagine doing a biceps curl, you get your dumbbell, you start down low, the muscle is long, I lift the weight, the muscle shortens, okay? So I contracted the muscle, the muscle shortens. That's called a concentric. And an eccentric contraction is the opposite. It's contracting the muscle while the muscle lengthens, like this, right? So I started up top, my, my biceps muscle is short. As I go through the contraction, as I control the weight down, the muscle is contracting and the muscle is lengthening at the same time. And to answer the question of, uh, well, um, how does that relate to resistance training? Um, these three types of contractions place different um, levels of stress on the muscles. Uh, isometric being the least stressful, concentric being the second most stressful, and eccentric being the most stressful. And this is why you'll often hear um, trainers, uh, when you're working with your trainer, they'll say, um, keep it nice and slow, especially in, let's say you're doing a squat, in the in the dip portion of the squat, right? Um, because that's the eccentric com uh, component of the of the of the squat, the lengthening component of the squat. It's the most stressful. You want to spend the most time in that type of contraction. It will disrupt your muscles the most. Um, and then uh, and if you're doing a rehabilitation program, for example, where you need to be easy on your muscles, you might start with isometric contractions. So often if someone's coming out of a rotator cuff problem, I'll just have them do a contraction into the wall, right? Just like that to start out with, because it's an easy contraction, it's less stressful on the, on the body, um, and is a good entryway back into strength training again. So uh, isometric con contractions, least stressful, eccentric contractions, most stressful, and concentric in between. Hopefully that answers that question for you. Cheers, James Braithwaite.